Okay, so now what we're going to do in, in chapter 8, eight 9 uh, on Hooke's Law, we're going to analyze the behavior of springs quantitatively. Before we saw that, uh, of course, if you uh, stretch a spring, it wants to, uh, wants to restore itself back to its relaxed position. If you compress it, it wants to resist you and go back to its uh, original position. Now we want to look at this quantitatively, meaning we want to try to look at uh, or develop some kind of equation. And this is called Hooke's Law. Okay? Discovered, uh, I mean, this law is discovered by uh, Robert Hooke. Okay, well, maybe we'll have a look at that a bit later. Okay, so, I like pictures. If you, let's consider a spring that is at its relaxed length, and that relaxed length is called X0, meaning there's no, it's not compressed or it's stretched. Then, if you compress it, then this distance over here is called X minus X0. So this length there is x and then of course x0 is the uh, relaxed length okay then if you stretch it and, and by the way in this case x minus x0 will be negative right because x is smaller than x0 so this will be a negative value if you stretch it then x minus x0 will be a positive value Okay, so if you keep increasing um, or if you keep changing x, let's look at two scenarios. If you keep compressing this more and more and more and more and more and more and more, then what's happening is you are, you have this kind of negative, you're moving down this axis. So say now you have on the horizontal axis, you've got these forces that you're applying to the spring. You're increasing the force, increasing the force, increasing the force, okay? That's, that's this way, you're increasing it. Um, uh, this is upwards, that's to do with stretching. And this is a compressive force, that's downwards, okay? So that's why it's negative. So this is a compressive force, you increase your compressive force more and more and more. And as you increase this compressive force more and more and more, the x minus x zero becomes more and more negative okay and then over here if you apply a a positive force an upwards force uh, and you increase that upwards force more and more and more it stretches the spring more and more and more so you have x minus x zero becoming more and more positive all right and so if you do this and you measure um, the force and the displacement okay at various time intervals these are what you get with the dots okay what you'll find is there is this range here from there to there that's called your elastic range we know what the elastic range is right the elastic range is if we now remove the force these compressive or stretching forces the spring is gonna revert restore to its relaxed length okay and what we can see is that this deformation, whether it's along here or down here, it is linearly proportional. There's a linear relationship between how it deforms and the force that is applied. You apply a force, it deforms. You apply a, a larger force, it deforms more. And it forms this linear relationship within the elastic range. Okay? Now, if you keep compressing it more and more and more and more, and you keep applying larger and larger compressive forces, at some point, um, this, it's, no, it's no longer going to deform. It's going to bottom out, meaning you can't compress it anymore because it's got nowhere to go. So as you increase the force, the X minus X zero remains the same. Okay? But if you're stretching it, um, you're gonna, and you exceed the elastic limit, then what's going to happen is you're going to permanently deform it. It's no longer going to have, it's no longer going to have this elastic um, range. Okay, it's now going to be permanently deformed. So that's what happens here when it starts to move off from this linear relationship. And so the slope, the slope of this line, 
is what is called K. Let's just see now. Let's go back here. This, this equation is, um, is, describes that line. It's the equation of that line. Okay, So F is a function of X minus X0, but it's equal to K times X minus X0. And take note, this is, this is the force of the load on the spring. It's equal to K. K is called a spring constant. And it tells you how stiff the spring is. How stiff is the spring? However, we are looking specifically in this case for the force of the spring on the load, which is the negative of the force of the load on the spring. So that is simply minus k x minus x0, and this is called Hooke's law. Okay? So we'll see if there's some examples. See you now.